Hey everyone, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Today I'm really excited to share this video with you because lots of you have requested it and it is the Willow vs. LV breast pump review. So I've got several categories here. We're gonna compare the Willow versus the LV wearable breast pump and we'll decide who wins each category. And then at the end, we'll talk about which pump might be best depending on what you're wanting to do. If you want specific help on choosing any kind of breast pump for you, you can join the New Little Life Facebook group. Over in that group, you can get some personalized help choosing a pump for you. There's lots of other posts from other moms. I'm over there too and I can advise you. There's no perfect pump for everybody and depending on your situation, your budget, your gestation of when you had your baby, all that kind of stuff, it might be different. So head over to that Facebook group and we can help you over there. But let's dive in to these pros and cons. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on each one because I hate long review videos. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so first let's just start with the price comparison. Both of these pumps are $499.99. So those are the same. The one thing though to consider though is that the LV comes with almost everything you need to get started. It comes with two chargers, two phalange sizes. Well, the Willow does too. Um, it comes with bottles. Everything you need to go is already in the LV. With the Willow, you're gonna probably want a couple extra accessories. So that's just something to plan on. If you don't wanna use the bags, you'll need to purchase the reusable milk container separately. That's about $49.99. It also does require bags, and those are about 50 cents a piece. So if you plan on pumping with the bags a lot, just take that extra cost into consideration. The Willow also only comes with one wall charger, so if you wanna charge both pumps at the same time, you're gonna need an extra one of those. An extra wall charger is $29.99. So you're gonna have a couple extra costs just to kinda of get you totally comfortably set up with the Willow. LV comes with everything you need already, but it doesn't have the bag option. So we'll talk about that later. Willow has sales and discounts frequently. I'll put a video up top to the current offers there, but I do think this one is gonna go to LV. Okay, the next category is mobility. So how much can you really move around with these two pumps? With the LV, it has the hard plastic bottle that you're pumping into, so it does have to stay upright. The milk comes through the phalange down into this bottle, so if you bend over, it's likely going to leak and spill out. So, as long as you're remaining relatively upright with this pump, it will be just fine, but you can't really bend over a lot or exercise, anything like that. You can't lay down and sleep. With the LV, it needs to stay pretty upright. With the Willow, if you're using the reusable milk containers, same rules apply as the LV, but, if you're using the bags, then you can pump in any crazy position you want. I'll post a link up top of a video I did where I pumped with the Willow during yoga. I had zero leaks, Ooh, spoiler alert. But the mobility factor goes to Willow. Okay, the next category we're gonna talk about is battery life and charging. So both of these pumps actually take about two hours to go from empty to full charge, which is awesome. The Willow says that you can get about five pumping sessions on one full charge, which seems about right. And a quick 20 minute charge will get you through one pumping session if you're in a pinch and you don't have very long for it to charge. The LV stats were very similar, about two and a half hours of battery life on a full charge. And again, I've charged it for 15 minutes once and I was able to make it through an entire pump, no problem. So this one actually is a draw. Okay, so the next section we're gonna talk about is the suction. The Willow suction goes from about 35 mmHg to 245 mmHg. So it has a really wide range of suction levels for you. It also goes up to 90 cycles per minute, which is cool. The LV, I could not find the cycles per minute that it went up to or that it kind of sat at normally, but the pumping range was about 40 to 220 mmHg for the suction level. So you don't necessarily need higher suction to be awesome, but the Willow did have a broader range both on the low end and the high end, and a lot more variance in the cycle speed. So that one's gonna go to Willow, I think. Now, if we're talking user experience on the suction, the LV has a lot gentler suction than the Willow does. Now, I use a Willow 2.0, and they just came out 
well not just several months ago with the Willow 3.0 and the main difference there was that they brought the suction way down and it's much more comparable to the LV now. So user experience there, I have preferred the LV, but again, the 3.0 Willow, which is the only one you can get right now is much better, very, very similar. Just as a side note there. Okay, so next category is the size. So the LV here is much smaller than the Willow. So if you're just comparing these side by side, the LV is a little bit smaller than the Willow. I'll go ahead and put them both on so you can see them in real life and compare them that way. All right, there you go. I've got the Willow on this side and the LV on this side. The Willow is a titch bigger. Both have a nice shape though. So, point on this one though goes to LV. It is a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker while you're wearing. Okay, while I have these in actually, I'm going to compare the sound for you. A lot of the other comparison videos I've seen compare the Willow and the LV just sitting on the ground, which is not a great comparison because the Willow especially needs suction like the sound you hear with no suction is a terribly loud sound. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep these on and we're gonna compare sounds actually while they're being used. Okay, so first let's start with the willow. Okay, so here it's trying to find suction. Now it's got suction. So this is what it sounds like while it's in. That noise you hear is it trying to find a better suction. This is the noise you hear while it's in stimulation mode. As soon as there's a letdown or you have 0.5 ounces of breast milk, it will switch itself into expression mode. It's a little bit quieter in expression mode, but you kind of get the idea. These pumps are pretty quiet. Okay, now let's check out the LV. Okay, now we have the LV going on this side. Okay, I will say that the LV is quieter, especially if there's bad section, it just kind of pauses and then starts again, where the willow gives you that sound of like, <laughs> trying to find it. The point's gonna go to LV on this one. Okay, next let's check out the weight. For the willow, 364 grams, which is 12.8 ounces. And for the LV, 247 grams, 8.7 ounces. Point for LV on that one. Okay, the setup process and cleaning, we're kinda gonna include those together. So the Willow only has three parts. You've got the pump motor, the phalange, and the flex tube. Easy, easy cleaning. So the bag goes in here. All you really have to clean are these two pieces. If you're using the reusable milk container, there's one extra piece. The middle of this phalange pops out, but otherwise it's exactly the same. So setup and cleaning, super easy for the Willow. For the LV, there are a few more parts to this one. So you've got the pump, You've got the phalange. It also has this little green piece on there. And then on the bottle, you've got this little valve piece and also this valve and then the bottle. So for cleaning, you need to clean the bottle by taking off this, the valve and the phalange and then put it all back together. So the LV has a few more parts than the Willow to clean and set up. So the point for that one goes to Willow. Okay, so now let's talk about the accessories. So the LV comes with everything you need to start pumping. You can also get a three pack of these bottles here. So when you're done pumping, you can just take off the bottle, put a little lid on it, and throw it in the fridge just like that. So that's kind of cool. And then you can deal with the milk later. So I like that about the LV. It also has the USB chargers, which are awesome because you can charge them on your laptop, on any kind of USB plug. So we live overseas right now, and so I just got my favorite European plug that had two USBs, plugged it right in, good to go. 
The Willow charger is dual voltage, so you don't have to worry about that as long as you have a, an ad a US adapter. And the LV also came with a little bra strap adapter. So it was a little clip that you could add to your nursing bra to make it a little bit bigger to accommodate for the LV pump in there, which I thought was a really nice touch from LV. Just a little piece to make your life a little bit easier. So cool accessories with LV. With the Willow, we talked about this at the beginning, but you'll probably order a few extra accessories, which is fine. The coolest thing about the Willow though, is that you can get the reusable milk containers, and then you have the option of using the bags and pumping in any position you want, or using the milk containers, and you can reuse it. There's not that extra cost. So I like that accessory option too. Different there, but I'm gonna call this one a draw. Okay, the next category is the ability to customize. So both pumps have kind of the double expression technology, the stimulation mode that mimics the baby sucking quickly at the beginning and then after a letdown, it goes into the expression mode. Now with the LV, you can completely customize that. So you can start in either mode and change at any time, whatever works for you, but you do have to manually change that. With the Willow, it does it automatically, which is both good and bad. It just depends on your preference. Some moms complain that they can't get out of stimulation mode and into the expression mode. You do have to have a certain amount of ounces that it registers before it just automatically switches over to the expression mode. Usually happens around the letdown with me. So whenever I have that letdown, the milk starts flowing quicker. It does switch over into expression mode. There's no way to override that. So if you want total control, you're probably gonna go with the LV. If you don't wanna think about it and you just want the pump to do what it's supposed to do at the right times it's supposed to do it, that would be the Willow. So for this one, I'm also gonna call it a draw. It just depends on your preference. If I had to choose, I probably would rather be more in control, but it's nice not to have to think about it too. A couple other things that both of these pumps have in common, they both have a cool app that you can use right along with it. It'll tell you how much milk you're pumping. You can control the pump via the app. You can easily track what you've pumped. You can do right or left sides. The Willows do have a specific right and left side. So mine's an older edition and it has actually an R on the bottom there, meaning this is the right. You have to keep track though of which is the right and the left with your Willow pump. The LV has a little button, you can switch it. It doesn't matter what side you put it on. If you're not tracking output for any reason, it doesn't matter what side you put either of these pumps on. But if you do wanna track it, you're gonna to have to remember which side is right and left with your Willow. Both of these pumps also have dishwasher safe parts, so that's awesome. And to be fair, I've used both of these now and I really like both of them. So there's kind of a rundown on the differences between LV and Willow. Now, I know you're probably wanting me to tell you which one you should choose, and I just don't think I can do that for you, which is super annoying to hear, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I really like both of them, but for different reasons. And let me tell you why, and then maybe that will help you decide which pump is right for you. Okay, so what I really like about the Willow is that it gives you a lot of freedom. You can pump in any position, you can pump while you're sleeping, exercising, yoga, I mean, anything. So I like that. I like that you can use the bags or the reusable milk container. Sometimes I just want to use the bags so I can just throw it straight in the freezer and not have to deal with it. Sometimes I want to use the milk container because I know I'm going to be feeding right away or I just don't want to, the bags are 50 cents a piece so they can get a little spendy. So if you plan to move around a lot or you want to chase a toddler while you're pumping or you want to continue working, you just have a really active lifestyle and you need a pump that can fit that, the Willow's probably a better option for you. Now, what I like about the LV is that it is just a nice pump. It feels good to pump. It's very gentle. It seems to be really effective for me. Both of the pumps were, but I was surprised at how gentle the LV was and it also took milk out really quickly. So I like that about the LV. It's a little bit more cost effective for you, but you're a little bit more limited. You can only pump into that little pump bottle down at the bottom. Some moms have complained a little bit more leaking with the LV as well, which I, having used these pumps, I could see a little bit more leaking issues. So if you're really worried that you're gonna be pumping at work a lot and you just don't wanna deal with leaks as much, maybe the Willow's better. I haven't had that much leaking with the LV. I did have once, but I overfilled the pump and the app didn't quite register it <laughs> right. So that was probably on me. I should have been paying better attention. Gosh, they're both really good pumps. 
I'm so sorry I can't choose for you. But head on over to the, our Facebook group and we can help you over there decide which one you like best and leave some comments down below and tell me what you think. Are some of these cons just too big? You wouldn't consider this pump or did I miss some things? Please comment down below and we can all learn from each other. I've got lots more videos on both of these pumps to kind of try and help you decide. So thanks for sticking around and we'll see you next time.